Welcome to course registration for the 2018-2019 school year. This video gives an overview of the registration process. You will be receiving an email that contains our course description book, this video, and a video highlighting some of the courses available at SOHI so that you can share it with your parents or guardians and complete your final registration choices. Remember to sign up for Remind.com to get important announcements for your class from the counseling department. For example, text at SOHI2021 to the number 81010 or get the Remind app. Remember that you need specific credits in different areas. When you log on to PowerSchool, select the Graduation Plan Progress screen to track your credits. In addition to the required courses, we recommend that you consider going above and beyond the basics because the career pathway you may end up taking may require it. Please consider what colleges and career tech education schools may be looking for. Also, consider the Alaska Performance Scholarship and NCAA NAIA requirements for college athletes. Other opportunities for our students to go above and beyond are through our district's Workforce Development Center in Kenai. Keep in mind that there are a lot of career and technical training opportunities in our school district, including after-school academies in welding, construction, ETT, CNA, PCA, and medical terminology. NCAA is the National Collegiate Athletic Association. NAIA is the National Association of Intercollegiate Athletics. NJCAA is the National Junior College Athletic Association. Visit their websites to see what the requirements are for each division and to search for colleges. When choosing a math class, refer to your teacher's recommendation, which you will receive at registration. The flow chart and the course description book is also a helpful tool. You will be receiving an unofficial transcript. Your transcript is a historical record of all the courses you have taken starting in the ninth grade. It includes your cumulative grade point average, or GPA, your class rank, and the total number of credits you have earned. You may need a copy of your official transcript for college applications, scholarships, or for employment, or for your personal records. To get an official copy of your transcript, visit parchment.com or fill out the form to request one in the counseling office. Here is a guideline to see if you are on track. At the beginning of the year, sophomores should have at least four credits. Juniors should have 10 and seniors should have 16. This means you're on target to graduate with your class. Keep in mind that credits for second semester of this year are not entered until the end of the school year. If you have failed a course, you can recoup the credit by repeating the class enrolling in summer school, or taking a credit recovery class during the school year. Also refer to your personal learning and career plan and your four-year plan in AXIS. When you review your occupations of interest, you will find helpful high school courses recommended for that occupation. All students must be enrolled in six courses unless they have college release or home release. Forms for college and home release are located in the counseling office. If you are considering college courses through the Jumpstart program, go to the KPC website and watch for the information about the high school early bird registration. You'll need to schedule a time to take the AccuPlacer and Alex test, and you'll need to complete the student orientation quiz before the registration dates. The AccuPlacer and Alex test is offered weekly at KPC and will also be offered at SOHI on Tuesday, March 27th. To sign up, fill out the paperwork and bring $18 to the counseling office. The Alaska Performance Scholarship provides funding for Alaska schools when you take four years of math and science or two years of a world language and a fourth year of social studies. Use the APS tab in PowerSchool to stay on track. Distance education courses are available. It is important to explore whether or not distance education is a good fit for you as a student. There is information about distance education courses in our course description book. You will receive a recommendation sheet that looks like this to guide you through your course selection process. On the recommendation sheet, your teachers have indicated their recommendations for courses you should take in math, English, social studies, and science. This sheet is a guideline to assist you in making appropriate course choices. 
Courses listed with a DE are offered through distance education. Please return this sheet with parent signature to your school counselor. When you're ready to choose your courses for sophomore year, click the class registration icon and follow the steps. When you have the correct number of courses selected, click Submit. Your submitted sophomore year requests will look like this. Please submit your request by March 8th, which is right before spring break. You can resubmit your sophomore year requests as many times as you would like up until March 8th. At that point, we'll be turning off the screens. Seniors and juniors will have individual appointments with their school counselor to enter their course requests. Seniors in the class of 2019 will have appointments from March 19th until about April 6th. And then juniors in the class of 2020 will have appointments from April 9th to about May 11th. We build our master schedule based on your course requests, so we will be unable to make schedule changes in the fall. Keep in mind that you may not get your first choice for electives, which is why it is so important to carefully consider your alternates. Schedule change exceptions are made for work co-op, placement error, and college and home release. Finally, remember that high school is what you make of it. There are so many opportunities to get involved or to try something new. Look at all these opportunities. Remember, the choice is yours. Remember, final sophomore registration requests must be submitted on PowerSchool by March 8th. Please feel free to reach out to us with questions by phone or email. Thanks for listening and have a great day.